What is up guys, Will Mosley here. If you're looking for an adventurous vlog, like this is not that one today. Tomorrow, come back, it'll be that thing. But today I, I just finished up uh, a documentary. It took me about three months to do, and that doesn't seem like that long, but I really wanna get into like the whole me over promising things and under delivering on that promise today. I don't know if you guys struggle with this at all, but as someone that is, um, you know, autistic, someone that is uh, creative, I get super excited about doing something in the moment. I'm like, they're like, yeah, let's do this, let's make it happen, and I'll do the shoot or I'll have the meeting about the website or the meeting about the marketing promotion and I have all this energy and inspiration and if, if, and I know this about myself, if I don't do it within 48 hours, maybe even 24 hours, honestly, if we're being honest, 24 hours is probably better, probably more but realistic, um, I start to lose a little steam. I start to lose like that motivation, that feeling, that inspiration for whatever the project is. This is exactly what happened with this documentary uh, that I'll be releasing on the channel very soon. I ended up setting it up, did the shoot, the shoot went great, um, got into the edit, and I was excited about the edit, and then I think I may have came across this book, or something of the likes of it. Um, that talks about story arcs and in different ways that you can tell a story. And it made me rethink about how I wanted to structure that documentary. I had a mind, I had an idea of how I was going to do it. I shot it intentionally in the Dan Harmon circle, like, and that was perfect. But then I started getting into probably this book where it's like about different types of beats of a story. And I wanted to be like, oh, maybe this is what I was missing. Maybe I should do it this way. And that created this tornado in my mind, which made me feel as though the current footage or the current way that I shot it wasn't good enough. And then that discouraged me from actually editing it and then after those two, three, four, five, six, seven days went by, then it's just like, I don't even know what this is about anymore. I'm, and I have like, it's that, and then you have another big idea of what you're doing. There's some, something, something else that like is so much more drawing, like it draws you so much. And this is the problem that I have, uh, where I can compare this to my, you know, the works that I, the work that I do, the projects that I take on, and I can also put this on like a level of like friendship and family and relationships and stuff like that. I come with this big burst of energy, and like, and then it's like there's something else that I want to kind of do, and I don't have all the solutions to this, but as I've kind of dissected this, I've started to think of ways I can be more responsible in the commitments that I take on, okay? Again, this is not the vlog. This is just a, a, a big, long takeaway from, um, hot take from Will. So, you know. <laughs> I live by my calendar. Um, I live by my calendar and I'm starting to also live by my CSP, which is uh, the I Will Teach You To Be Rich uh, kind of spreadsheet um, that Ramit Sadie puts out. And I find when I'm unfocused or I don't feel good or I'm just like, not okay or feeling overwhelmed, it's typically a problem within how my day is currently going and how that mismatches with either my finances or my calendar, okay? Hopefully this will come back to what we're, we're talking about. And 
once I go through my calendar and look and time block, I'm very much a big time blocker, I feel so much more motivated, feel so much better. But the thing about it is, I don't just, I time block probably every week or every other week. I, I change things, I adjust things, and that in the sense is in is the problem. Where I'll make time blocks or make commitments based on this calendar, but in a week or two, I'll end up adjusting that calendar and all the things that may have lined up with the previous calendar just doesn't line up as well anymore. And like I said, if it's not in the calendar, it doesn't exist for me. It's just, it's gone. So if I'm not, so for instance, um, if vlogging, if there's not time in the calendar for vlogging, it doesn't exist in my day to day. It's gone. But I eat, I can just as easily be like this calendar, be like, oh, I'm just going to start vlogging for four hours, make a block. And there it is. Um, so with this whole changing, 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 rotating, adjusting um, thing, I think that the commitment that I can make for myself is if it is something I can do today, I'll do it. Like if it's something that I want to do, like it's not like I'll just stick on anything, but if it's something that I want to do and I can do it and have it finished today, that's that's it. If it takes more than two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days, seven, you know, a month, hard chance that I'm gonna align with that in a month. And that's hard, you know, because you have client work, you have all these different things, these different commitments that you want to be responsible with, but because I know my mind, because I know how I work, I it's it's actually more responsible for me not to take on projects that I know that'll take me more than a day. Yes, I could change the way my mind works and all this other stuff, but eh, I don't really want to. I like how the creative spark, I like the energy that comes with that stuff. So I just segment Okay, if I'm making some sort of video, whatever I can do within that day for that video, for someone or for myself, or if I'm making a website, whatever I can do within that day, that pocket of time, great. Maybe even one more day after that, but after that, it's, it falls off. It's like shoo, a cliff. And I don't really want to feel that way anymore. I don't want to like make do accept projects make accept commitments make promises and then feel terrible about breaking promises terrible about missing deadlines terrible about like all the things i don't want to do that for myself you know it's just a bad way it's a bad it's bad for your own mental but it's also bad you know for other people also if you can get something done in 24 hours a turnaround like that and someone else expects a week or a month or whatever, bro, <laughs> facts. Y'all see this hair? This hair is out of control right now. This is like massively needs a cut. The beard needs a trim. We need to shape it up, bro. This is, we got it. We got to get this all taken care of this week sometime. I think that's all I got to say right now about over committing let me know in the comments below about how you handle over committing over promising under delivering all those things how you navigate that or keep yourself from doing some of those things take care guys next one will be a vlog all right bye